today it's um, kind of been a dark day in Texas. It's uh, been kind of gloomy, and so even though I'm in my sunroom, it's really not been very sunny. Um, but I got this new system thanks to a dear friend of mine, and so I wanted to get on and do a little video uh, this morning. I uh, read the readings and uh, it was really nice and everything, but now it's evening and I was reading the readings for the evening prayer and it made me think about my day. I spent the day pretty much in a tube for CT scans and MRIs and bone scans and probably a good four hours of my day was spent repeating the simple prayer uh, Hail Mary and Jesus I trust in you and then I sang some songs about Jesus and just tried to really make it a prayerful time I thought about all the people who have asked me to pray for them over the last few days and weeks and then I came home and I read this reading from Philippians and um, I've said in the past that I have a really I think of, of all my sins, that my biggest sin is, is wanting control, wanting to have, to make decisions for myself, and, and, and really that comes down to it's pride, right? It's pride, and I think I can handle my own problems, I don't need any help, and, he, and I, when you finally turn to God, it's like, you know, God's saying, I was already there, and you just needed to ask for help. And so today's reading was from Philippians chapter 3. And Peter, uh, Paul is saying that everything that he had before and everything that he'll have in the future really comes down to his pride getting in the way and how he, need, he knows he needs to turn everything over to God. He says, whatever gains I had, these I have come to consider a loss because of Christ. It is not that I have already taken hold of it or have already attained per perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it. Since I have indeed been taken possession of by Christ Jesus. And I thought, yes, that is what I've been trying to say to myself and to others is that we cannot have purely given ourselves over to Christ until we give ourselves over to Christ. We have to give everything to him and say, it's yours. Do with it as you will and not try to take control of it ourselves. That we, Our pride is always going to get into the way. It's always going to be our stumbling block if we don't trust in God. And so today I was there trained so desperately to control the situation and and really once I gave it over to Christ and said let Jesus take possession of me and not worry about what was happening around me but just closing my eyes and meditating and thinking about Christ and so I did that and I got through the claustrophobic feelings that I had and just thought about Jesus. And that's what we need to do all of our lives. It doesn't have to take a tube closing it around us. It can be the stress and the worry and the, the things that are happening around us can be claustrophobic, can be overwhelming. And if we just give it over to Christ, he will take care of us and, and then praise God in the struggles in the good the bad and the things that are happening in the world so i hope that you'll think about that and that we will together find ways to give our lives over to christ god bless you i thank you for all the prayers and i hope that you know that i'm praying for you as well god bless